Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and this is just a quick video to let you know that there is a blood moon coming. Yes, we have got a total lunar eclipse coming and it's going to happen on, well, it depends where you are really. It's going to mainly, the, the main part of the eclipse is going to happen on Friday, in the early hours of Friday the 14th of March in the UK. But if you happen to live in the USA or even Canada, South America, you are in luck. You are going to get to see the whole of the lunar, the total lunar eclipse. And that means when the Earth comes in between the sun and the moon and the Earth's shadow blocks out all the sunlight. Well, I say all the sunlight, it's most of the sunlight that reaches the moon. But what happens is a very strange effect is the moon turns into like a very deep red and the reason for that is because of the light coming around the earth by the atmosphere because the atmosphere of the quite a thick atmosphere obviously carries the light around and only the warmer end of the spectrum from that light then comes out the other side and that falls onto the moon and that's how we get a blood moon now we've also got a partial solar eclipse happening as well at the end of the month that's on the 29th of march and and again i think the united states is going to be the best place to see that all of it we only get the uh, a small part of that uh, uh, partial solar eclipse we get about 40 to 50 percent but in the united states i think we get up to about 90 percent you know not a total solar eclipse if you saw my video from last year i'll put a link in the description i went to dallas in texas and i saw the most amazing total solar eclipse it was an amazing experience if you want to watch the video i think it's on my home page you get to see it just watch that video it's absolutely amazing a total lunar eclipse is very different you know it's a much slower a bit more kind of subtle obviously um when the when the sun is blocked out by the moon everything goes kind of dark it turns into dusk and it's amazing it brings loads of people out to watch a little bit different with the lunar eclipse it, like i say it's a lot more subtle but when you get that um when you get that total lunar eclipse and the moon turns red it's quite a surreal experience i did manage to capture a partial, if you look back a few videos, I think it was back last year, I was up in the Lake District in the UK and I managed to capture a partial lunar eclipse and that was a nice, quite a nice effect. I'll probably put a link to that video at the end of this one, but if you want to watch the total solar eclipse that I did last year, I'll put a link in the description or you can find it on my homepage. But anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to, this is mainly for an American audience because in the UK, unfortunately, as the moon enters its... Um, eclipse phase uh, it's actually going to be going down um so as the sun is coming up in the uk the moon is going down so we're not going to be able to get to see the we might even the moon might even disappear altogether but in america you get to see the whole thing at night so you you get the perfect view well, luckily enough a few a fair few years ago probably a decade ago i managed to get some pictures of a blood moon from blackpool absolutely amazing in the early hours of the morning, look at these pictures here. The moon goes totally red. I even managed to get a picture over the famous Blackpool Tower. Look at that there, the blood moon over the Blackpool Tower. Yeah, I had to be, had to be out in the early hours to get that, but that was a good experience. And I think a lot of people are going to be able to see this. And I think depending where in America where you are, the earlier the eclipse begins. So if you're on the west coast of America, you actually get to see the eclipse starting a little bit earlier. So you can watch it in the evening before Thursday, the 13th, it, the, the to totality. Um, actually, well, totality for us is actually going to happen on the 14th in the early hours of the Friday, the 14th of March. Now, I'm going to be using universal time. Universal time is pretty much the same as Greenwich Mean Time. And all you do is you minus, for Dallas, minus six. Dallas is six hours behind. So if it shows on the, on the program I'm using Stellarium, if it shows, say, four o'clock, 4 a.m., that means it's 10 p.m., Dallas time and you're just working out for wherever you are in, in the United States. So we're going to take a little look at the uh, computer now just to give you an idea of what's going to happen and what time and if there's any kind of, if I'm not quite right up on the times, what I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, uh, a website in the description which will tell you exactly what times you can see the eclipse 
wherever you are. So let's have a look and, and, and see what it's going to look like. Okay, now here we are in Dallas. We've got Dallas down there. I'm on Stellarium here. And uh, this is the view at four o'clock a.m. But that's universal time. Now, if you're in Dallas, you take six hours off that four o'clock. So this is 10 o'clock in the evening before, or Thursday, should I say, Thursday the 13th. So this is the view of the moon. As you can see, the moon is quite high up. You're very, very lucky over there to get this. I wish we could see this eclipse. So, so imagine this is 10 o'clock in the evening and you've got the moon up there. Now the eclipse is about to start. I believe the, the eclipse starts a little bit earlier in Dallas than it does on the east coast. And if you go further towards the west coast, it starts even earlier on the west coast. So um, I'm going to put some information in the description just so you can make sure you know exactly what times they're going to be because I might not be completely perfect. But if I put the clock forward, I'll tell you what, we'll run it forward to 5 a.m. Universal time, 11 p.m. Dallas time. And if, I don't know if you can tell, but the moon, I can't zoom in on the moon on this for some reason. If I go closer, it just stays really small. But the moon has now entered the penumbra of the Earth. So the Earth is actually starting to make the moon look a bit dark. And this should look quite special. You will be able to see this at around about 11 o'clock in the evening in Dallas. And like I say, if you're on a different location, if you're on the East Coast, you're going to be out a little bit later, probably midnight before you see this um this effect but what we'll do is we'll run it forward to about six o'clock i believe around about half past six is going to be the total phase you're going to get the full blood moon at around about half past six yeah um i'm just checking there i'm just checking on the thing there like like i said the, there's a link in the description if you want to make sure of the exact times but as you can see now the moon has now, sorry, I can't zoom in on it. I would have thought the moon would get bigger when I zoom in, but it doesn't. But there you see, you can see there that the moon has, it's not white anymore, it's gone. It's actually gone sort of that color, you know, that kind of ruddy, ruddy red color. And of course, what makes the moon go that color instead of just going completely black when the Earth's shadow passes across it, blocking out all of the, well, I say all of the sunlight. So what happens is, it's the atmosphere of the Earth. So we've got quite a thick atmosphere and that carries around the light of the sun around the edges and then it filters through that and you get the warmer end of the spectrum, the, the, the red end of the spectrum that comes through on the other side and that projects onto the Earth. It's absolutely amazing. I've been lucky enough to see some blood moons myself. Um, I showed you the picture before of the one that I took here in Blackpool. Unfortunately, like I said, we're out of luck here in Blackpool. What well, I'm going to, in the UK, should I say, or in Europe, we're out of luck for this one. But uh, maybe I should have come over. Could I come over for the total eclipse again? Like I saw the solar, the total solar eclipse in Dallas. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just fast forward it a little bit. So half past six, that's going to be it's going to be after midnight so you're going to get the total you're going to get the total uh, lunar eclipse the blood moon um looking at this it's going to be half past midnight the maximum that's when the maximum shadow of the earth is over over the moon we're not on one side of you know but obviously it's moving from one side to the other but that's the maximum eclipse it's an amazing effect so you really must get out and see if you can see it but if i just run this for the time forward a bit I'll just speed this up a little bit. The shadow will then start to move. If you keep your eye on the moon, look at the moon there. Can you see? You see that? You see? So by around about half past eight, universal time, and that will be, it's going to be half past two, um, Texas time. So you can see it's now pretty much moved up. Not completely, but pretty much moved off. If I run it back, you can see, we go back into, see the shadow there? Comes back. And like I say, the maximum eclipse time, I believe, according to my information, is about half past six, but you, like I said, there's, there's information in, in the description if you want to make sure, for you, just in case I'm not quite right. But uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna, do. we're gonna do. We're gonna come to the UK now, where I live. Now, unfortunately, I did mention before that we are pretty much out of luck <laughs> where I am, because we do get to see 
The um, so I put Blackpool there. Oh, I've done it wrong. Blackpool. Oh, Blackpool UK. Yeah, use this location. Yeah. So now we're going to come to Blackpool, and I'm going to show you what what we get to see. And it's not, it's not brilliant. Let me just run the clock back. So we're going to be looking towards the west. Now we're looking. I'm lucky enough to live on the coast. So let's have a look, and there's the moon. That's where the moon is at the same time as where I showed it in Dallas. Four o'clock universal time. It's going to be 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock the previous day, 10, 10 p.m. Dallas time. And look how low down it is. If I put the um, the grid on, you can see that we're, we're actually quite low down. That's the wrong one. That's the grid there. So the moon is at 20 degrees. And that's when, when it starts to go into the penumbra from our perspective at this time, as it's going down. Now, the problem there is the sun is going to be starting to light this guy up. So as I've moved the time on, now you see I'm moving it on to, towards five o'clock. Now we're getting towards total eclipse, but the moon is going down. So I don't even know if we're going to be able to see the eclipse here in the UK because the moon is going to be so low down. We're now at 10... 10 degrees above the horizon. We're probably going to lose it in, in that tree in a minute. In a minute, I can't put the I can't put the flat horizon on this. I'm afraid, but we're seeing the moon go right down. We're approaching total, but the moon has almost set for us here in the UK. It doesn't get to a totally blood moon, I believe. Uh, it doesn't get to maximum, should I say, until the moon has has pretty much set. So. That's our, this is it. This is our view in the UK. So we are out of luck, I'm afraid. So you are so lucky in America to get to see this blood moon. And I hope a lot of you get out there and see it. So there you go. I hope I've explained it to you there. The total lunar eclipse of March 2025. Unfortunately, in the UK, I don't think that we're going to be able to see very much by the time it gets into the the prop by the time the moon is completely blocked out from the sunlight uh, the moon is pretty much going to be down it's going to be lost it's going to be lost in in the the glare for us so we're well, right to look in the uk but hopefully in america south america canada you will get a amazing experience so get out there in the evening and you'll get to see the start of the eclipse and if you can stay up into the early hours you'll get to see that amazing blood moon so i really wish you luck for that if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more information and astronomy videos and most importantly of all don't forget to keep looking up